Hello everyone, welcome back to a new, a new season of Jeff's Barbershop. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Wait for the helicopter, shut up. You're opening a video with audio interruption. Shh. Today on the show we have one of the Logan brothers, uh, Paul. My name's not Paul. You guys like money? Current wants you to get your money faster and help you move it faster. You can get your paycheck up to two days faster. As usual, when Current partners up on this channel, we're giving away some dough. We're giving away 500 bucks to four of you guys. All you gotta do is go down to the link in the description, sign up for Current, and we're gonna send you some cash. Now back on with the show. We're here at Coachella. We're gonna clean Logan's hair up. He looks terrible, he looks like shit. I'm very picky with who I let cut my hair. Okay, so there's no higher power that tells you not to no, do what? the show? No, absolutely not. Also, I want to strictly make this known that I am here out of necessity. I don't want to be on the show. I'm in my boxers. I'm here for Coachella weekend. I'm not here for this YouTube shit. And I've been thrust out of this bullshit. Can you channel. try that again where you're like, I'm really grateful to be on the show. It's an honor. I didn't know there was going to be... Camera shoved in my face, bro. I just want a haircut, Jeff. Okay, well, just block out the cameras. I know you're not you used to that. Are you getting upset? Well, I'm just tripping because I see a <laughs> camera on a tripod. We just want to show off your products here. You've done a lot. You've come a long way. You used to be a controversial YouTuber, but now you are a very respectable man. Thank you. And you've wow. grown a lot, and I'm actually taking inspiration from you. I'm listening to you talk about all these projects that you're doing, and it's inspiring, man. So I just want to give you a platform here to talk about them and not have to talk about <laughs> Because I know that your platform is tough. I know that your platform is tough. It's tough to talk no, about listen. stuff because you have people butting in every time you try to talk on your podcast. So this is just free rate. Look, you talk about whatever you want. You got the 99 originals coming out. Super creative Thank project. You, You're Jeff. an artist. Thanks, Jeff. You fought Floyd Mayweather. That's crazy. Yeah, beat him. Whatever you want me to say. We beat We beat him. Beat him. Beat the shit out of Floyd Mayweather. Whooped his ass. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate you, and I, I actually do appreciate you giving me your platform. I'd rather you give me a haircut. Okay, let's get on. Let's get on with the show. All right, so what do you want to do with your hair? You know what's going on right now that I don't love? It's so crazy on the sides. Like I have this thing in the morning, my hair it kind of defies gravity, and it's doing it now. You want to keep the mullet? Yeah, for sure. Okay, get those wings flying. Yeah, I think it's just a part of my brand now, my mullet. I understand. If you look really closely into this mirror, there's like an optical illusion. If you just peek in there really close, you can see what you'll look like in the future. Stay right in there, and trust me, you'll realize everything's gonna be okay. Are you? I can't believe you fell for. Serious? <laughs> what, Mike? I don't know. I can't believe Are you did that to Logan Paul. You dick rider, bro. Get out. You're the bad co-host. You're supposed to make fun of him. Back me up. Make fun of him. I won't do it. That's my. Client, bro. Hey, that's the only prank I had planned for today. No, it's not. I know it's not. Now I don't want to be here because you're gonna upset him. And he's gonna go Floyd Mayweather on your other eye. <laughs> so cut the. He would hit me. Hell yeah. yeah. I would. I would. I would. I would. Let's talk about Josie. Hey, man. Because I had her on my podcast, we hit it off. I thought you guys were broken up, and you know we hung out, and then the next night, I find out. What did you find out? She was over at your house. She's at my house bro code i respected it and i backed off she's your ex i'm out did you get back in no I'm you, done. you just deaded it not me i'm not like these other guys well why the f did you look at me you know it's coachella there's a lot of people here there's a lot of pressure a lot of it's everything's moving so fast just calm down pretend we're somewhere else let's pretend we're in a different location just change the uh, she's change uh, the location no look no whoa oh 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 cool there's a lot of uh things happening all at once, too. That's what people aren't thinking about. They're not thinking about all the things that are happening all at once. And they're not gonna stop either. The things keep happening and happening and we're all just like... How do you do it? You're like a young Elon Musk. You know, what's next for you, man? Do you even listen to the profound <laughs> he's saying? I'm listening. Honestly, dude, I gotta say this, bro. I was gonna sit here and watch this, but you're a sh host. You're a terrible <laughs> cut hair. I don't give a ask a dude, take this I can't, I can't be on the show anymore. I was on it the last time I came on it, you asked me how I like my girl. You, they, the fans part, bro. How do you like your girlfriend getting banged on camera? I didn't, I, I didn't. Whoa, 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 bro. I didn't even ask that. It was on the cards. It was on the cards. I don't write the questions for the show. Piece of shit, fucking host. You treat my friends like shit. That's not true. That's not true. Steven, thank you for popping in. Yo, you know what my finishing move would be if I was in the WWE? The fucking excavator. That's cold, bro. That was a low blow. 
Like he doesn't understand I have a business with this kid. Like I've, I, that's my best friend. I don't care how, how good the content is. I don't care what happened to him. Oh, you know, I went, went off the side of a crane. Yeah, boo hoo bro. We've all been through stuff in our lives, all right? But there's no, there's no reason to demean my, my friend. Can we talk about 99 Originals? Yeah, we can. I really love that project. We know you love Polaroid so much. You got something? We really love the project, so we wanted to bring you a little gift. We got you your own Polaroid camera. You got me a Polaroid? I, yes, so I got you. Well, it's, I was using it <laughs> in the meantime. Well, we, we know, wanted we to, it. we didn't yeah. want to just give you a Polaroid because we know you have so many Polaroids. We wanted to take some pictures on the way out, me and the pasta. So we took some of our own photos. And maybe you can consider using some of them for the, wow. for the 99 Originals. Wow. Or if you could just keep them for yourself. Cool. Whatever you want to do. Uh, resources. <laughs> just, we didn't have the resources that you had. You have to fly around in private yeah, jets. Man, and, and, it's just you know, pictures of dicks. Look at this I mean, car. No, no, no. Bro! They're all dicks! Okay, okay, Every single okay. one of them Listen. is a different dick! That means they passed the camera around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in, in there, all of our dick pics were not supposed it's, to be in there. That was all. No. <laughs> it's way too bright. What about. Wolf? Here, I don't. These are blown around. I don't want to lose them. I don't, bro. Do you mind if I put these in my? You're collection? putting out a Polaroid collection, you know. Can I put these yeah, in my collection. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not this one, but the, the, there's. Uh, go ahead. Whose dicks are those, Sam? Huh? Those our, are all of our, our dicks. dicks. We those, took are, those are all of our dicks. We just singled out Stevens. I, I didn't know that we were gonna like actually put them in the envelope and give it to them. Damn, bro. It's like um, not what you expect to see. It's you, innovative, huh? It was like I was looking at it. I was like, Whoa. which one was your favorite? <laughs> well. I'd have to look again. This is... Wait, is that yours? <laughs> <laughs> Steven, stop being mean to the guests. So I, I made a, a, a video. You run this by me? I, I didn't want you to see because I, I actually made this for Logan. It's very important. Or whatever, Steven. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't care. I got to finish cutting the hair. Okay, here we go. Hey Logan, my name's Steven, and working for Jeff is one of the most stressful things I've ever done. One time he made me shave my head, and I really didn't want to, but he wanted me to do it for content, so I did it anyways. I'm gonna need you to shave your head and your eyebrows. <gasps> I do right. everything I can to my best ability to please Jeff, and it just never seems like it's enough. Is it exposed tape? He's always just crazy and mad and f flipping out. Ah! It reminds me of the kids that used to bully me in high school, but on a much severe level. No, 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 no. Get in there. What? You want me to get up and strike you? No, I'm sorry. Because it seems like you're asking for that. Regardless of that, he's always hitting me. Oh, it's not true. I'm always scared around him. He, he starts these a lot of the time. He starts these striking things. me. This is out of context. One time I made a joke about Jeff in a hotel room, and he got really mad. And I felt like he was gonna hit me, so I got butt naked. And that didn't do anything. That's why I'm coming to you, Logan, for help. Because I don't know anyone else that is scarier than Jeff. You want me to get him? Yeah. This is what you I, came I, to do, Steven? Biggest interview in my life, you want to turn him against me? Because I'll him up, bro. You know, I want to yeah. see him get his head like just oh, right in the ground, but not too hard to where he gets mad. You want to see blood? No, because then that would go too far. Maybe just like you right? know what? And it's... We'll do what we got to do, and then after you're dead. Sit back and relax, brother. Thank you. Wait, yeah. I'll do a hook. This is for you, Steven. Thank you, Logan. Oh! That's great. That's good. That's good. Right. You got some power, kid. Thanks, bro. I was acting. Completely fine. Why'd you make Mike the co-host on Impulsive? That guy could talk to a wall, bro, for an hour and have a meaningful conversation with it. What's Mike's beef with your dad? Oh. <laughs> How did your best friend have beef with your dad? That puts you in a weird position. Let's really think about this, dude. I've been watching a lot of space videos recently. I've always been into space. Our presence here on this planet is so insignificant in the scope of time. And so I don't take anything too seriously. You got one of these fucking stupid lives on this floating rock that's spinning in the middle of an infinite universe. So when my dad's beefing with my best friend, I'm only here to be entertained. I just want to have a good time. That shit's hilarious to me. So like, I'm not gonna get involved. Like, yo, I'm like, make me laugh, guys. This is my dad printed props. He had props, laminated, blown up printout of like a comment I made on Instagram. That's fucking funny. That's good content. And Mike's just Mike, dude. Like, he's he's problematic. Not minutes ago in this YouTube video, he threw your own equipment on the ground. I saw it. Play it back. Roll the tape. Is it real? Yeah. It was. He's, he's problematic, bro. Like, things are gonna happen. At the end of the day, we're gonna duke it out like men. We'll be alright. And one of them's gonna get struck. You know what I'm worried about, dude? What? We won't show this part if you're worried about your hair. What? No, 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 I don't care. Or maybe I overwork myself. I could see that. 
but you know one day you'll retire yeah you'll be a billionaire. I think you'll be a billionaire by 30 honestly that'd be crazy that's why we're cloud chasing you be cool to have a billionaire friend you know you know why I want to be a billionaire Jeff so I could be an anti-billionaire a billionaire who can still do shows like this not wear pants still do fights be a hooligan and forget the whole suit and tie regiment I want to be in the trenches you know I think it'd be funny the anti-billionaire and then I'll give it all away to you Steven Wow. Yeah. If I become a billionaire, I'll give you 100K. Thank you, Logan. Let's just shake on that. Get that on camera. Okay. That's like me giving you $1 right now. <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> wow, bro. Absolutely destroyed my hair. 10 out of 10? It's pretty good, Jeff. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good haircut. Come and have a bunch of sexy girls. Yeah. I'm here to find a wife. I'm finding her, I'm locking her down. She's coming back to Puerto Rico with me. I'm here to find a solid group of male friends. Done, check. This is gonna be a great weekend with the boys, huh? Look at me, dude. I'm in Palm Springs in my boxers. This is how I wanted it. Logan Paul, ladies and gentlemen. Jeff in the fucking stomach first, man. Let's go. How bad is a shot from him gonna hurt? When's KSI gonna start pulling his own weight with this? Because all I see is Logan Paul. How dare you, bro? They don't understand why I am the original alien.